just got stabbed? Yeah, I came back to Bournemouth once, I asked how he was and I've been told he was stabbed to death. Yeah. This is Sandy Lane. And uh, I met this friend, I'm trying to remember where I met him, I think at the youth club. Uh, Rick, he was a adopted Polish guy and he was a junkie, real smack junkie. He was about... I suppose I was 16 and he was uh, 20 or 21. But a real heavy duty junkie, the first one I met. And uh, he wouldn't give me anything. He wouldn't, he wouldn't give me any smoke or any hash or anything. But uh, I used to watch him fixing up and buying with him. And me and Rick were in this alley one night with a, a bottle of cider. And we had a group together called the Devil's Merry-Go-Round. He played bongos and I played Devil's Merry-Go-Round together. He played bongos and I played guitar and singing. I think we did about two gigs, but um, anyway, I was yeah drinking a bottle of cider with Rick here one night. And the only cop who knows my dad is a customer in the shop who comes along and busts us. So he goes straight to my dad and says, and I was forbidden to see Rick anymore. I caught up with him again in London many years later. He used to carry all his, he used to carry all his works around in uh, plastic bags, you know? Lots of syringes. Looks very nice here, doesn't it? And here on these steps is this Polkstown Youth Club, where I used to go quite a lot. I had my first taste of methylated spirits on these steps. Well, my only taste of methylated spirits. You know, white spirit. Terrible. I didn't have any more of that. That's a pity, a lot of things happen in this place, huh? Ah, sorry, it's It's going to be demolished soon. Demolished? Yeah. You're lucky because hey. I'm not usually here and there wouldn't be anybody here today. So, yeah, you can have a quick look can at that. Yeah, because I remember. I can't take you behind the stage. Well, I'll take you straight. I was there, I was there, I met Matt Batten. He's the one that got blown up in, uh, by the IRA. Yeah, I met him. And this, thank you. I remember the thing with railings around the top. There used to be a jukebox down the bottom and some tables and railings. It hasn't been like that for years. No. no. But this would be the, that room, wouldn't it? It would have been, yeah, I should think so. Because yeah. that's what they call the... And these older guys, they found out I could do a, a good Mick Jagger impersonation. They'd, almost every time I came in the club, they, they'd pick me up. I, I didn't want to do it. I did it once, uh, painted black that time, that period. And they'd all stand around on these railings above, and they'd stick me on a table and put money in the jukebox and make me do the Mick Jagger uh, mime, you know? Uh, again and again and again and again. And they'd all stand around and they'd clap and uh, put more money in the jukebox. And that was the gym up there, no? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Toilet. There used to be a trampoline here. I got into trampolining for a while, but it wasn't good with the glasses. Hmm? And then they hung a guy upside down in there. This guy, uh, he was run from Borstal, uh, young people's prison. He was uh, on the run. And the people from here, they took him in there and they got a rope and they hung him up by his feet and left him there. <laughs> I don't know how long he was there. <laughs> Jenny is hot. Oh yeah. yeah. I 
Butch Tenny's hut. Huh? Where is it? Where? Party last night. Closing party. Party last night. Closing party, huh? <laughs> well, we caught something before it disappeared, huh?